What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video we're going to be talking about the biggest issue with the parking lot striping business right now. Uh, whether you're starting it, whether you're in it currently, uh, and basically what that is is the paint issue. Now I've made some videos on this in the past, but uh, in today's video we're going to get our answers to why the supply is so low, uh, the solution to this problem, as well as the opportunity as a whole of what parking lot striping uh, could be for you right now. Because as you guys know, anytime there's low supply, high demand, uh, there is an excellent opportunity to make a ton of money. So in today's video, I'm joined with a guest. His name is Judd from Asphalt Kingdom, and he's going to be walking us through how the issue arose, how he has the solution to the issue in the form of acquiring thousands of gallons of parking lot striping paint through a great business deal. And lastly, the opportunity that has arisen as a result of this paint shortage, as well as towards the end of the video, Judd's going to give you guys an excellent tip on how you can get your first parking lot striping job. So be sure to stay until the end for that. I do want to mention though if you need parking lot striping paint check out the first link in the comment section and the description that'll be a link to the asphalt kingdom website the second link however is going to be a link for in-person training so if you've been thinking about starting a parking lot striping business but you're not sure what to do you don't know the processes you don't know the equipment or uh, things that you should be doing on site you can actually come out and do a job with us in person we'll walk you through everything you can ask all the questions you want like i said second link in the comment section description if you're interested in that but without further ado Let's go ahead and roll the clip. So Judd, I have experienced this issue within my own business and uh, I made a video actually about it, how there's no paint, we couldn't find paint. And uh, me and you had a conversation and you were talking to me about a certain situation uh, from a manufacturer that's no longer supplying it. So can you kind of give us the backstory on why there's such a big paint issue right now? The good news is, is that the industry uh, during these times, even through pandemics and through recessions, I'll tell you that um, the asphalt maintenance and the striping industry has just been on fire. It's been busy 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 so kind of resistant in a way as we'll say first first and foremost striping is is an absolute necessity for uh, for any property owner that has traffic that's coming in from a safety perspective guiding traffic and and also making making sure their their property looks like it's maintained right they want to want to have their assets looking great and so crisp lines are always something that makes makes it look really nice and clean so that's that's the cool thing about it is it's always in demand for somebody thinking about starting in the business great opportunity for somebody who is in the business business already go out and get more of it of the right kind of jobs that are going to get you to where you want to go in regards to paint man it's been a wild ride i mean uh you know through the last uh three years kind of we can we can put on a calendar it's been a roller coaster for everybody about a year and a half ago we ended up getting a call from one of our canadian paint manufacturers who has a has an enormous amount of paint we were able to do a deal with from asphalt kingdom and the paint manufacturer in canada they were supplying municipalities up in canada and the municipalities uh, along with environment canada there was some voc changes and and different statues that were sent uh set to be able to apply paint and so what happened was that the a lot of the municipalities pulled back on all of their orders with the with the manufacturer due to VOC ratings. This manufacturer we had a great relationship with, still do, um, ended up with all this paint. And so we had an opportunity with the timing to be able to say, we're gonna be a lighthouse to the industry. We're gonna really, we're gonna really power forward and being able to help people out there who need to put food on the table, make finance payments and really run their business, scale it and grow it. We we need to be able to get it into their hands. And and that's that's something that's really, really important. We're a national vendor now for Sherman Williams. Um, so we're providing Adding some paint to them because they're not manufacturing traffic paint um, and paints just generally really really hard to to find anywhere right now as it relates to the asphalt uh, and pavement industry uh, so right now that's kind of the the gist of it we have paint uh, thousands and thousands of buckets that are coming in every three to four weeks right now and we're pushing truckloads out so like right now we have 7100 um, pails that are in stock ready to roll out um, and that's pretty exciting for uh, for the fact, not for us, but for all the people that are gonna go out there and actually complete these jobs. Why specifically would Sherwin-Williams no longer provide this parking lot striping paint? Can you kind of speak to that a little bit? Yeah, the residential market right now is huge for them, man. Like painting walls, exterior of their built homes and in interiors, they're really focusing on that. Um, and a lot of people are at home now, more so than ever, where of course, you know, when people are home more, they start seeing things that need to get done. and and all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, they're buying a bunch of paint. So really, they're focusing on the residential sectors uh, and and commercial sectors, uh, primarily to related to the buildings versus just the parking lot. The parking lot tends to be the last on the list, but it's first on the list for us 
because it's lost on the list to others. So we have an opportunity and a niche to, to really knock it out of the park. Sweet, so if you guys are looking for parking lot driving paint, look no further than asphaltkingdom.com. They have plenty of parking lot driving paint. So Judd, I just wanna talk about the huge advantage that guys are gonna be able to get just by knowing this information, knowing where they can get the paint uh, over their competition, because right now, you can't find it anywhere. And for anybody who thinks that we're just going on here talking about, you know, go to Asphalt Kingdom and buy paint, that's not the case. It's more so no one can find the paint, no one can provide the service, and it and it really creates a great opportunity for those who know how to how to get it. So can you kind of speak to that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about the number of people right now that have quotes out to customers that are unable to actually give a date as to when they can do the job, and those customers are on the on the hinge, those leads are sitting there going, well, okay, if I do decide to move forward and, and I call this contractor, well, it could be three months maybe that I'm gonna get the job done. Like I've heard of I've heard of service not being able to be provided for over 120 days just because there's no pain. And so what I think is is important is during a time right now where there is a shortage and a lot of contractors may not see the video like you guys are seeing right now today, this you can use this as leverage and an advantage advantage to you where you're ultimately going to go proactively out there and start generating some business that wouldn't have been there otherwise. And so like Facebook ads would be something I'd immediately start spinning out, right? Striping, we had paint paint and stock ready to stripe tomorrow type stuff, you know, willing to give you a, a free estimate. Um, job can be completed in the next week type stuff, but like be be proactive saying that you have it now. And that's really the mindset with everybody right now, I find is like, we, we all want everything now, right? And it's really hard when you tell somebody it's gonna be six to eight weeks from now that you can get anything. So I would use that to your advantage. I would also proactively go out and if you see a parking lot, I mean, I know everybody watching from from now on, after, after you watch this video, you're gonna drive by a parking lot and you're gonna look at their lines now because of course we're speaking about this stuff and that's opportunity. If you see those lines on that parking lot and they're faded a bit and you can see that there's a wear and that that particular parking lot could use use some striping you know i would approach proactively and it doesn't take long to knock on a door and speak to the gatekeeper and and ask for who the person is that's responsible for making the decisions for the pavement assets and get through that way you know a lot of commercial complexes man they have a lot of for rent little units you know like where they have a hairstylist a nail salon or they've got these and then there's an empty one where it says you know um, call call this phone number to to lease or you know whatever it is and you f dial that number and that's a property management company right and you just get through right away and you talk to them but be proactive in your approach right paint now willing to work now and get this job done for you because we know you need it and so I would take that approach right man, now. Man, that was a great tip, Judd. I've never even thought of that, calling the, the number for the property management company and just getting directly to the source that way. That is beautiful. Judd, thank you so much for coming on and uh, sharing this information and giving them some insight on how they can get some jobs immediately and fill the void uh, where there is where other companies might not be able to fill it who hadn't watched this video. So uh, every guest that comes on the channel gets to pick the word of the day. What would you like the word of the day to be? Grow. Grow. The word of the day is grow. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment down below grow and I'll hashtag you're a real one. Like we mentioned, first link in the comment section description is going to be to the paint. So if you are looking to start a parking lot striping business, you know where to go to get your paint. Uh, but my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.